ACORN is a criminal enterprise. That's not an achievement. Now, ACORN has been under prosecution or already under conviction in 14 states. One of those states is Missouri. Twelve ACORN workers have been convicted in the 2007 cycle for things they did in, in 2007 for things that they did in the 2006 cycle already. And of those 12, four were in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, the, you know, the others were in St. Louis. Now, the press is wanting us to believe that ACORN engages in patterns and practices of criminal activity on the Missouri side of the state line, but as soon as they cross state line road, <laughs> it becomes completely clean. You know, in Kansas, everything's legit. Everything's just fine. Yeah. But we know better than to believe that. We also know that there are specific examples of voter fraud that have been documented in Kansas. One, Kathy Perry, an uh, election judge in Sedgwick County, testified in front of the Kansas Senate about uh, just this past winter. It was in January or February. She went on the record with written testimony and, and, and told what she observed in this one polling place in Sedgwick County down in Wichita. She we're very concerned, of course, about what's going on in our country today, and that's why we're here. Chris, what is the likelihood of getting these things accomplished that you're speaking of here in regard to voter fraud? You talked about um, verified cases of people going from one state to another. Right. How do you close that loophole? Important, but I do want to emphasize some of the things that some of these other folks have said uh, tonight. Uh, one of them is that uh, November Patriots have been doing a voter fraud investigation. Well, there are some real problems. <coughs> the other thing is, uh, and, and this relates back to the, the voter fraud investigation that we're doing and the records that we're trying to get out of the Department of Revenue um, on voter ID related legislation. And, and then they passed this non-legislation legislation where you don't even have to have a voter ID. It's, it's crazy.